Hi, it's me, Bria, and Happy New Year! A lot has been going on for me lately, uh, both leading up to the new year and now in the new year itself, and I thought maybe now would be a good time for me to share a little update with y'all, because I haven't really done anything like that for a little while. Uh, yesterday was my five-year transiversary. Uh, happy birthday me! That's a, it's a bit of a milestone, and it's been a chance for me to reflect on just how much I've grown and how much has changed for me in my life over the past five years. And I just want to thank everybody who supported me over this time. I, I couldn't be where I am in life without your support. And it just, I never thought it would be possible for me to do what I do and be who I am. And uh, I want to thank you for that because you made that possible. And I want you to know that you can do the things you want to do in life too. Uh, part of, I think, a lot of the changes I've been making in my life have been about me being the person that I want to be in the world and uh, just living the life I want to live and being kind of an, an example of, of what can happen. As a trans person, you can do the things you want to do and be happy and have a fulfilling life outside of, say, community activism, which is still very important to me. I still believe in a lot of the principles that my comics have been about over the years, but I know I need to move on to different places in my life. You might have noticed I haven't updated my regular webcomic in a while. I've been doing instead my new horror series, She Never Came Out. If you haven't been following that, I, I think you'll like it. It's, I think, personally my best work I've ever done. And it's going to be finishing up. The final act of the story begins next week. I've just been kind of reorganizing things, so I haven't had a chance to release it. But look for that new series. It'll be finishing up in the next few months. And I don't know what I'll be doing after that, but that's kind of been my main focus in a lot of ways. But in addition to that, I also am going to be in a play this spring. Uh, so a lot of my time the next few months is going to be dedicated to rehearsals and memorizing those lines and all the things that come with that. And I'm very excited for this. It's going to be spectacular. Uh, transcripts based on a series of interviews with trans women and it's going to be playing mid-March. If you're in the Vancouver area you should definitely come out. I'll release more details in the future closer to the show date. And of course the final thing I'm doing in the next few months is I'm going to be finishing up my next graphic novel. You may be familiar with my uh, previous novel uh, First Year Out uh, about a trans girl's first year out, based largely on my own experiences as well as the experiences of other trans women I talk to, and in its sequel, which I'm calling right now More Queer Every Year, we'll see what the final title is, is a loose sequel, but it's more about the diversity of experiences within the queer community and talking about the intersections of different aspects of one's identity and how they can change over time. And that one I've been really taking my time with because of the nature of the subject matter. I just want to get everything right, do it properly, and I'm feeling really good about it. And now I'm entering the final stages of making that book happen. So I'll be busy with that over the next few months, but stay tuned. You, you, I think you're going to like this book, especially if you like the previous work I did. If you liked First Year Out, if you like my political web comics, you're going to like More Queer Every Year. Uh, in addition to all that, though, of course, I've been reorganizing and revamping my life. I completely changed my studio. And uh, I'm, right now I'm recording in my little reading space I set up for myself. I don't think I've ever shown this before. I, uh, here, I'm going to see if I can show you. See, you got a scented candle going. I got my zines, all my indie zines and, and little comics. And then I've got all my classic comics from when I was a kid. I'm mostly Sonic the Hedgehog because I was a dork. But I think they're charming, so I still have them. Got all my cushions. I got this wonderful painting I've had for years. Trans flag kind of rounds out the space. I'm going to expand on this space, and I think I might start recording videos here more. Speaking of videos, voice lessons, they will start up next week again. I'm sorry I've been away from them. We'll return to doing regular voice uh, sessions, and probably from here. I think the space is a good space for it, and it just makes sense that that would be where I end up recording from. Look at it. It's, it's cozy. It's a cozy little corner I got. Um, in this quick sweeping view of the whole place. The other big change I've made is this, my model prototyping department. I've taken up toy building and model making this summer, and you know I love dinosaurs. There's my classic Rex, who I've had since childhood. Got my big ol' Tyrannosaurus skeleton. 
And then of course I just got this bad boy, this gigantic colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm gonna probably repaint this guy uh, and remodel him a bit, make it into a bit of a project. Just like you see here, various stages of dinosaurs that I've been painting and remodeling. Uh, I'll finish that, you know, when all this other stuff I was just talking about is done with. Um, I'm really into minifigures, the Mega Constructs minifigures. I want to do something with that, trying to make some custom ones. We'll see where we go with this. Uh, here's my skeleton that I was making for my mom. My mom's an artist. She asked for a posable skeleton for her birthday, which is honestly a while ago. and I haven't quite finished it. It's almost done. This joint here, uh, unfortunately, has cracked. And no matter what, it won't fix. You know, the glue doesn't set. So I'm going to have to cut it off and replace it. But otherwise, that's about done. I'm working on projects. This is uh, Cassie, Cass Fire Eyes, from my comic Starfish Gemini. A little skeleton for her. I will return to Starfish Gemini in the future. I just need to take a break from it while I figured out a few things. Uh, but I'm very excited to move forward with making more models and stuff to prepare the art for when I inevitably do return to it. Uh, this motorcycle here, you might recognize this design from the opening of Starfish Gemini. Those sort of grasshopper motorcycles. I want to do a little more with them. So I decided in order to be able to do that, I need to understand this device. So I've built a little prototype, not quite finished. Got to finish the uh, steering columns here and then add a few more details. I'll repaint it. Good to go. Uh, yeah, this is like side stuff. This is what I do for fun and I love it. I love my little workshop area and I want to expand it more. Uh, this is my paper craft zone. Yeah, this is where I do book binding. Uh, any books that I produce myself, I'll cut on my cutter. I got my long arm stapler. Do it all here. Any stickers I make, you can see there's a big pile of stickers I haven't completed. By the way, if you have an order with me for any books or stickers, don't worry. Um, if I haven't already sent it, I'm about to. I, I just get caught up with all these things I'm doing all the time and uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it always takes me a long time to fill orders. I'm not gonna lie. Um, then of course there's the old drawing section that, that's been changed to a new spot. I love my drawing table, had it for years, probably have it for many years more. I'm trying to build up my inspiration wall. Um, I'm gonna, you know, some more art on there. I only have one boss. That's something I have to remind myself of sometimes when I stress out. And uh, my art wall, gotta complete this, add more and more posters to it and what have you. Coming around to the computer zone, this is where I do my tablet work. Any digital drawing I do will happen here. Um, nice little cozy corner. Stays pretty warm in here. And that's just office supply stuff. I want to get that monitor. I used to have multiple monitors going uh, in here, and i got to reset up that uh, system where I have a couple monitors going. And, uh, yeah, my studio is looking okay. I'm, I'm a big fan of, of, of the changes I've made to it. Um... And I hope to be producing more content for y'all. Uh, I feel like it's hard for me to stay updated. It's really easy for me to isolate and just focus on my work and not communicate with my fans. And I'm really sorry I don't always communicate when I'm going to take time off or if I'm behind on something. Uh, I'm just always working on stuff. I'm always doing something and it's easy for me to forget about things. This also goes for if you sent me a message. There's a good chance I actually did see it and I just haven't had a chance to respond and I've forgotten and I'm working. I'm sorry, it's not that I didn't want to talk to you. It's that I'm off in my own head making art all the time and I swear I'll get to it. I'll get to all the things I have to do. It's going to be a good year. I feel really good about this year. And uh, I hope you'll come along with for the ride with me. Keep up in 2020 because it's going to be it's going to be big. It's going to be a good year. And I hope it's going to be a good year for you too. Let me know what you would like to see from me. Of all the things I discussed, what are you most excited for? Are you excited for She Never Came Out? Are you excited for More Queer Every Year? Are you excited to go see me in a play? Are you excited for me to return to my old comics I used to do? Because I could return to some of those when I'm ready. Are you excited for toys? I really want to make more toys. Please tell me you're excited for toys because I really like making toys. It's so fun. Stickers? I'm lucky making stickers and fridge magnets and Pokemon cards and all that stuff. All that stuff. I'm doing. I'm always doing the things. This is getting long, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up here. But thanks for joining me on a little tour of my studio. Uh, perhaps you'll see it again next video I release, which will probably be next week. 
next week, voice lessons at uh, Thursday, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Let's get back to it. I hope you've been practicing. Uh, if you haven't, don't sweat it. We'll, uh, we'll get back to it. All right. Thanks for joining me here, and I'll uh, see you next week and uh, on the internet. Bye!